Hey guys, welcome back to more AFK Arena. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Athalia and more specifically how to beat her because she is a really annoying hero to fight against in the game, um, in the labyrinth, in just about everywhere in the game she's frustrating. So we're going to go into it, we're going to do a bunch of battles against Athalia and show you all the ways that I can think of to actually counter her and help you beat her. So let's get into the video. Okay, so what we're going to be doing for this one is we're going to be going to friends and we're going to be challenging my main account just because that's the easiest way I can do it. If you didn't know, which I feel like a lot of people don't know, you can challenge your friends. You just hit the little sword symbol next to it and you can challenge your friends. Um, and then the first the first lineup that I'm going to look at is basically just using an agility uh, hero that wears leather gear with a lot of dodge. So, so for this, you'll need fairly decent gear for the stage you're at. Um, earlier stages, you know, maybe legendary plus will get you the stats that you need to dodge. Um, but right now, we're just going to go in with this this sort of team. And th there's my Pharrell. I'm going to leave it on one time speed just so we can see the interaction with the Athalia. So he's basically just on full leather gear, really high dodge. As you can see, he dodged the first attack and then he dodged the kick and Pharrell has the fear so he also managed to fear the Athalia but that avoids that whole beginning CC which is the most frustrating part about the Athalia um, it basically let's just put this up to speed a bit it allows you just basically to mitigate that whole initial part of her uh, damage which is the most annoying part of it so that's that managed to trash bag my main account there <laughs> um, so that is just like I said Use an agility wearer with high dodge, and you should be pretty good. Um, the next option we're going to look at, unfortunately, it doesn't save your team, which is really annoying on this thing. Um, the next option we're going to look at is a specific hero, and that is going to be Rosaline. So if we just do this, and then we throw Rosaline in there, what you'll see is basically she runs up, and she manages to dodge that Athalia's first attack. Once again, completely mitigating that. Um, the unfortunate thing about this is I had the Pharrell in there, which feared the Athalia. But if you don't have something like that, she is then, because Rosaline walks away from the initial strike, um, the Athalia is then going to walk forward and do the kick up, um, you know, her three-stage combo attack that knocks you up. She's going to use that on your tank, which is definitely less than optimal. So... That's the one downfall of the Rosaline strategy is that the the, um, the Athalia will go ahead and attack your tank next. The next combo we're going to look at, if we go here, so we'll do this one. The next one I wanted to look at is going to be a Rowan. Um, so if we go like this, we can put the Rowan in and he's going to get immune to the first strike. There you go. He gets the immune. Um, and then you can see here, my Pharrell there um, did manage to CC some enemies. He missed the Athalia. But the Rowan missing that first attack, he does get kicked up by the second one. Um, the other thing about this one is that the Rowan is not really optimal on the bottom or top. You, you normally want Rowan in the middle. So if the Athalia is in the middle, it's really nice. But you can definitely try putting Rowan on the bottom or the top, depending on where the Athalia falls, just to try and, you know, like avoid that. Yes, your top heroes won't get um, get the heals, but it's not too bad. Um, when we when we look further into this one, I'm just going to do another test with that exact same team, and we're just going to see if I just want to show you guys. We'll leave it on one time speed just for the demonstration. Uh, so we missed it. So. Sometimes you can get your Pharrell to fear the Athalia. Same thing with Arden um, before, like while she's mid doing the kicks. But what you can also do is, um, so we'll go back. I hate having to select this. That's just annoying. Um, what you can do is you can actually use Leica in here. And what's going to happen is um, what you can actually get to do with the RNG. And I'll, if it doesn't happen on this one, I'll retry it a few times until it does. You'll get Rowan immune to the first attack from the Athalia. And then because you've got that haste buff, Pharrell is actually going to fear. There you go. You saw that the Pharrell feared the Athalia before she did her three-stage knock-up attack. And then she goes straight into just auto attacking so you actually get to avoid that whole knock up thing which is really nice she does use it a little bit later but you do it that does allow you to avoid the initial the initial knockdown and then the the follow-up knock up that she does do so you can also do this with arden so what i'm going to have a look at is trying this with arden as well um, once again we'll just select this team put the Leica in there 
I will drop you, put Rowan down adjacent. And this will work with any other hero. I just like using Rowan as an example because he dodges that first strike. Um, but once again, you can do this with an agility wearer, anything basically. The, the agility hero wearing leather is my favorite option. Personally, just because it allows you just to completely dodge everything and not even worry about it. Um, but once again, we're, we're doing the same thing as we did. I think we'll just do that. Doing the same thing as we did. Um, hoping for the RNG. It took me a lot of tries before I got Arden to root the Athalia last time when I was doing it off camera. Let's see if he does it. So there you go. Get, get immune. Arden puts his roots up. As you can see, he missed the Athalia, but the timing does work out that he will actually get those roots up before the Athalia um, actually does her three-stage attack. So his timing is very, very similar to the um, to the Pharrell and really, really nice. Um, the next option I want to look at is going to be a, another sort of free-to-play early game option. But this is a really good early game option. I do really like this one as well. And that is going to be Sylvina. As you can see, the Sylvina here. We're going to step into the battle and Sylvina is going to do her teleport to attack the, the weakest mage. And she's just going to completely avoid that Athalia's ability um, to do the knockdown at the start. Once again, same issue with Rosaline is that you're going to have um, you're going to have the Athalia go and use her kick on the tank. However, once again, if you have an Arden or a Pharrell or any type of just broad CC that can hit anyone, um, even something like a... Um, a Nomura Mind Control might even get it as well. You can actually avoid her using that knockup by CCing her before she gets to the tank to actually use it. Now, when we look at um, if you're fighting against her in the Labyrinth, there's a few different, there's a lot of different options you can use. There's a lot of different things. For instance, if you have a Rowan in the middle, um, you have someone down here, Athalia will land her first kick. You can just hold out, and this works with like Tassie. It works with a lot of things. Um, and all you can do is wait till she lands and stops her animation. Then you can use your CC ability and it will stun her and stop her from using the combo attack. You can use Lucius Shield if you have a, this, this basically relies on having a full energy bar at the start of the battle and that's why it works in labyrinth and you know the voyage of wonders and all that stuff um you can have a lucius pop his shield before the athalia actually goes down and it will make your hero immune to the cc there's a lot that there, there is an absolute lot of little niche options that you can do um when you have full energy bars to avoid it so just play around with different things but like i said using cc after she lands and using lucius shield are two of the best options in the labyrinth to avoid it now i want to talk about her ultimate now her ultimate is really really annoying um what we'll do is we'll put like nara in here nara is not a good counter because athalia just destroys the nara but we'll just put her in there to see what happens and i just kind of want that athalia to get to her ultimate and then we can sort of demonstrate it except now my now my nara is attacking her and she's probably going to destroy her <laughs> which sucks okay that was a bad move by me bad move i'm going to win this too quick okay Okay, but that, that is the thing you can do with Nara actually is if you if your Nara can survive the, the initial two strikes, then your Nara can actually reduce that energy bar. And can, I wasn't even going for a counter to the ultimate, but it actually does work. Um, let's just do that again. On We'll do, we'll do it on fast this time. But uh, let's just do that. Uh, I think I had Rowan in there last time. Let's, let's do that. Um, but as you can see, the Nara actually does work. So after the after the initial combo attack, if the Nara survives, she then starts attacking Athalia. Athalia starts attacking Nara, and Nara's passive is going to make that Athalia lose energy, which is going to mean she's going to take longer to get to her ultimate, which is actually a good counter for it. There you go. Random tries trying to make the Athalia destroy me made me find find another counter. So Nara is actually an option, but you need a fairly decently built um, Nara to do it. Now. What, what I was actually going to talk about is, so the Athalia ultimate is, let's just put some trash heroes in here. We'll, we'll put some heals so we can survive long enough. And then we'll just do that. So the, the ultimate is the real pain. Uh, she just goes across the screen and destroys everything, basically, especially in campaign. In this, it's not going to be as bad, but in campaign, it's absolutely horrible to deal with. And what the basic, there's, there's one good way to counter it. And... A lot of it does come down to RNG. So in that one, you saw that she did do it in a close proximity to just the Lyca, um, probably because I had not many heroes left. But if we go over here, let's just go to do, let's go over here and let's just get her playing around just while we talk about it. So 
the, the one way to counter it, which isn't a hard counter, but it is a way to avoid it, is to spread your team out further. Because if she hits the same heroes multiple times, it's going to deal extra damage. And obviously, you just don't want, the, want her hitting the same heroes and dealing more damage. So spreading your team out and not using a team full of melee heroes. Where did she go just then? And not using a team full of melee heroes is one option so that you can spread your heroes out so that she's only really hitting one hero with each of her strikes. It just, like I said, if they're grouped up, one, they take more damage from um, successful, uh, from more hits in succession. Successive, that's the word I was looking for. They take more damage from successive hits. So you wanna avoid that. And also spreading them out means hopefully she'll only hit one one of your heroes with that. Now there are hard counter options to her um, ability, kind of like the Nara where we used um, to stop her getting energy. You can use, you, you can, I, I, the, two, the two hard counter options that I can think of are very annoying because you can't really get them that free to play. So the two options that we do have are an Orthros. Um, Orthros is gonna be able to put that energy reduction thing on. However, you'd need a beefy Orthros to be able to withstand um, the first attack and then do it. Something you could try is in a Labyrinth, you could use the Lucius Shield Protects Orthros, then he'll put his energy thing on the Athalia. That's an option if you are in um, Labyrinth, but if you're in Labyrinth with Lucius with the full energy bar, you're probably gonna be good anyway. So he's not really gonna to apply to many people at all. But the big one is gonna be Aziz. Now, the reason Aziz is gonna be good for this because he has that passive where anytime an ally does an ultimate, your enemies cannot ultimate. So this guy is kind of free to play. Um, you can buy him from the Challenger store. So he is gonna be the other hard counter. But once again, a lot of people aren't gonna have him built, so it's not gonna to be too effective. But if you do, give it a try because he's just good to counter the entire enemy team if you guys use if your team is using their ultimates enough the enemy team won't actually be able to do it and you'll be pretty fine so the ultimate is just that little bit harder to counter um, you can just try and kill her before everything else happens but those are my main counters for it you've got the, the two ways to really dodge it um, being the um, Rosaline and the Sylvina, but Sylvina obviously does drop off. Then you've got the agility wearing hero that can just dodge it flat out. You got Rowan who's immune to the first strike. Um, and then you've just got those general CCs with the Lyca is really nice because Lyca will mean that they don't get hit by the second CC of Athalia um, due to either Arden or Pharrell or anyone else's CC being able to land faster. But that is gonna be it for this one guys. Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Cheers.